Welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Welcome back, Fight Fans. Welcome back. We're just going to debunk and, uh, you know, destroy all of these fanboys. So we're just going to dig right into it. And we start with Armani Rivetta. And he states, to be honest with yourself, Crawford, if Crawford was offered the opportunity to fight Pacquiao before Spence, you think he wouldn't take it? You're a clown. Well, this is going to prove that you're a clown, Armani, because, you know, the first thing we know is we know where you get your narrative from. If you look at your channel pages, we know that you're subscribed to Bias Boxing Ego. We understand you're subscribed to Dante's Bias Nation. So we understand where your train of thought because you're one of his brainwashed trolls and I get it You don't have any facts to back this up Terrence Crawford tried to fight Manny Pacquiao years ago But you have to understand that Manny Pacquiao is past his prime at this point Manny Pacquiao is not the super fight He would be with anyone Manny Pacquiao is just a good payday Terrence Crawford is pushing for a super fight with Errol Spence Jr. because that automatically makes him the best welterweight. If Crawford beats Pacquiao, that does not make him the best welterweight. You have to be honest and unbiased with yourself. And he's not going to get full credit for Manny Pacquiao because he's 40 plus. Would he fight Manny Pacquiao right now? Absolutely, because every other welterweight is walking away. And Manny Pacquiao is the only one man enough to step up and would consider fighting Crawford. You have to be honest and unbiased. But as of right now, Terrence Crawford has been vigorously calling out Errol Spence jr for unification and being ignored you have to be honest and unbiased the next one comes from wasi Rahman, and wasi Rahman states are you going to talk about how canelo is somehow managing to jump up and down weight classes so easily i have some fishy stuff and the computerol just adds to it Clembuterol is a drug used to increase a fat loss without losing muscle mass, a necessary tool for easing uh, weight cutting. But I guess it's impossible for your hero to be a drug, drug cheat, isn't it? Uh, it's not normal to move up and down weight classes like this. Canelo's definitely something on something, and especially with his influence, I'm not surprised that this is being swept under the rug. And so, you know, you have to be honest and unbiased. Watsi Roman just exposed himself as a fanboy because he's not bringing facts to the table. He doesn't have a fact to present. These are all assumptions of a biased narrative that he's pushing this is the same guy that subscribed to he knows his sport this is the same guy who follows these biased trends this is the same guy who protects fighters so Wasi, what we're going to do is we're just going to only speak facts here and the fact is canelo alvarez is enrolled in volunteer uh, voluntary uh, pd testing with vada period year round 365 so he's enrolled in that so you have absolutely no proof that he has anything to do with being on any substance because he's literally enrolled 24 7 uh, 365 and outside of that you know um, even before the whole scandal with clenbuterol and everything you know during that scandal and before the scandal and even after the scandal Canelo Alvarez absolutely always had VADA testing literally for every fight and it was always voluntary these weren't mandatory this was before people had mandatory VADA testing and things like that he always had it before every fight every fight he had it explain to me why when he when he failed that test he came back and all the other subsequent tests came out negative you have to be honest and unbiased and it was the same laboratory the same information you have to be honest and unbiased you can't call someone a cheat without proof and you know how is he able to jump up and down weight classes he's not going through extremes but you know you didn't say that you know kel brook was on something when he went up to weight classes you didn't say mikey was on something when he went up to weight classes guillermo rigo when he went up to weight classes you have to be honest and unbiased amir khan when he went up to weight classes people can fluctuate weight classes it's a common thing in a sport of boxing if you're unfamiliar with it people move up and down weight classes all the time and you have to understand that the elite level when you're disciplined when boxing is your life and when you're the face of boxing the best fighter in boxing like canelo alvarez is it makes sense for you to be able to change weight classes because he has a structured diet he has one of the best training teams in boxing that's what elite level talents do and that's why they are elite uh, but let's keep it going tevin house said laugh at my off uh you're like 90 percent of your channel is based on arrow let his nuts breathe uh well tevin let's let's just break this down now I own Canelo videos, on Errol Spence videos, on Mikey videos, on any video I see uh, that I pr produce. It doesn't matter what the topic is because I produce a variety of videos. Whatever the video is, you're on there promoting some LDBC agenda, some Dante's Bias Nation narrative, and you're always trying to protect everyone from the PBC. That's who you are, Tevin. That's who you are. 
And so respectfully, Tevin, I have to ask you to please let my nuts go. But let's keep it going. Uh, Facts 100 states, uh, you can just cannot contain the hate, honest and unbiased, my behind. Well, let's be honest about this, Facts, um, because you speak none. Uh, You know, I just don't understand what do you mean can't contain the hate. And it's not honest and unbiased because there was name one hateful thing I said. You can't because everything I said was factual. When you can debate facts, then you can come and speak to me because you're not. Because let's go back to Errol Spence. He stated that I want Manny Pacquiao after I beat Sean Porter. How was that hate? How was that not honest? How was that not unbiased? That's literally what Errol Spence said. You posted on the post where I stated that Errol Spence Jr. doesn't want Crawford next. He wants Pacquiao next. And this is proof. This is out of his own mouth. So how is that not honest, unbiased, or factual? Be honest with yourself. But let's keep it going. Master Payne states, no one is scared of Crawford, um, but Canelo is scared of Triple G. And so let's just expose this. Master Payne is probably the biggest hypocrite and biased troll there is. And so we're just going to expose him. And take a look at this. Now, if Canelo Alvarez is scared of Triple G, who else have you ever seen light his face up like that? light his face up triple g has never looked like that after any fight you have to be honest and unbiased when you make someone look like that that's no fear but let's keep it going andre wright is another fanboy that we're going to expose because he's pretty much on every post hating as well dante bias nation ldbc and you know he might be bias ego undercover so this might be his troll account so let's just expose him andre wright states nuke will say anything to make it look like errol is ducking and you fanboys will agree uh there was nothing stated to duck terrence uh that's just that business takes time okay fair enough andre so if you believe that business takes time and i'm trying to make it look like errol is ducking Terrence Crawford. So let's just explore some few things. I remember when Keith Thurman was not in a hurry to fight, you know, Errol Spence Jr. Every day I would see you post, he's ducking. He's ducking Errol Spence. He's ducking Errol Spence. But then let's just explore the facts. Keith Thurman, you know, states uh, he has every intention of fighting Errol Spence. Uh, Keith Thurman says a fight with Spence should be uh, with at least three world titles on the line. And then on reverse end, Errol Spence says to Terrence Crawford, once I unify three belts, I'll go see Terrence Crawford. So literally, they're saying the exact same things about um, T. Thurman is saying about Spence and Spence is saying about Crawford. If you don't understand and you're not honest and unbiased, Errol Spence is the new Keith Thurman. Errol Spence is trying to fight everybody but Terrence Crawford. The same with Keith Thurman. He was willing to fight Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, but he wasn't willing to fight Errol Spence. Errol Spence is the new Keith Thurman. They're doing the same things. They're saying the same things and they're exposing you as a fanboy and a hypocrite. But once again, unbiased as always, it's the IBFP. Please share, like, and you must absolutely subscribe.